Oh my god. Oh. Skiff. Skiff, look. Oh no. Oh shit. Um. Uh, uh, it's, it's Whitaker. We have a situation. Um. I think we have a spinner out of control. Oh no. Oh no. What, what do we do? What do we do? What do we do? Medics, ambulance. To my location. Send them immediately. Officers down. Galen. <laughs> Galen. Uh, Get your hands off the damn. Uh, uh, what is going on with. Back up! Get your hand. I'm gonna try it. What? Get yourself together! You're pushing us towards the ground! Let go! Let's roll, oh. Galen. This is gonna be a driving roll, and I think we discussed there being some. a disadvantage. Correct? Disadvantage or advantage. Ooh, that's um, right. We talked about one or the other for different reasons. Okay. Well, let's let's talk it out here. I mean, you do have experience kind of um, b with either chemicals or something like inebriation and stuff like that because you worked vice for so long, right? So you've got that, but then you also have the disadvantage of the fact that you're this was unexpected so i guess i'll roll playing then yeah i think so I, honestly this role is hard enough as is i really don't want to impose disadvantage and just so that everybody oh my god thank god okay <laughs> uh just so everybody uh listening understands uh when you fall in uh in Blade Runner, you take the damage of you hitting the ground, but then you also multiply every story, like from the height. This would kill them if they hit the ground. This is a this is both of them dying instantly. Um, but he did pass, thank God. That's one one roll that failed, by the way. Let me show you guys. One roll was a failure, a crit failure. If one. I rolled that uh, with disadvantage, I would have you would have killed us both. Yeah. Oh, and then he had the six, which is the success. So just barely. Okay, so what happens? What do we see? Uh, I think you see the ground just getting closer and closer, and uh, I'm having trouble focusing. I, I uh, have my hand against the window, and, um, you know, the, the gravity is sort of pushing us uh, against our seatbelts as we are plummeting towards the ground and sort of spinning, and there's some centrifugal force there, so I have my hand up against uh, the, the windshield, and uh, I'm, I'm sort of... Uh, spinning a little bit inside my seat almost my head is swimming and I uh, I look towards uh, Bob and I see Bob sort of screaming at me and you hear that sort of droning um, half um, half like muted sound when you're kind of stunned and I I'm looking at him trying to understand what's happening and I then glance towards the the windscreen and I see the floor, the, the, the ground getting closer and closer and I just kind of grab the the wheel and, and pull it back just as we're about to hit the ground and there's probably some scraping on the bottom of the spinner as it as it just barely makes contact with the ground so we jostle in our seats quite a bit um, and there's some sparks that go off Okay. I need and one I just, more roll. Yeah, go ahead. Sorry. I just start to uh, pull the car into just a, some kind of stationary position. Yeah. 
You want another? Uh, yeah, I'm just going to do another driving roll. Okay. No successes. Okay, perfect. That is for me. Um, okay. So I want to know a couple of things. Uh, first thing is Bob. Can you tell me where you were during that fall? Is your 32 some odd stories up? Brad, um, I would have been in the, the passenger side of the spinner, right? Uh, as we, is this what you're asking? Like how, where I was mentally yeah, or how I was mentally. reacting? Or? Yeah, or both. You can tell <sighs> me how you were reacting, but I want to know if, you know, I kind of want to know I if your life flashed before your eyes is secretly yeah, what I'm asking. I was fighting to keep it from flashing before my eyes. Um, a car, this situation is too familiar, but training being what it is, I couldn't, I couldn't allow myself in this moment. I couldn't let too much get in. So it came out as anger towards Galen. Um, I I probably punched him, um, not in the face. But I would have slammed his arm. I probably uh, started uh, hitting his his uh, his wrists and his forearms, trying to get over. But with the movement of the spinner, as we're falling, I don't think there's only so much you can fight, you know, that sort of force. So I wasn't able to get his hands off. Um, and I'm terrified. But you'd only see it as rage. Okay. What's one thing you would never forget about this moment? No matter what. <sighs> about this moment? One or detail from as you were falling. As you were falling. Oh. Jeez. The quiet. Did you see an ad as we were falling? That's a good question. Was there an... I mean, most definitely there are ads everywhere. But was there a particular the ad that been... stood out to you as you were crashing through these holograms, maybe even? Oh. You know, you probably saw a bunch of smiling faces as you were yeah. plummeting to the ground. I think there's this one advertisement of a man he is straightening his tie as he is speaking Japanese and he is selling the man's man outfit store design for businessmen which has gotten some uh, some pushback in uh, in its uh, messaging and whatnot it's a little too heavy heavily masculine yep okay um, but it gets controversy so they keep pushing it out ah and so you've probably had a conversation about it where you were like this is ridiculous and they know that it's controversial and this is why they do it ridiculous yeah it's preys on on people's emotions for money and that's the worst thing you can do so not to prey on your emotions but how do you think you felt knowing that the last thing that you were going to see potentially before you died was the worst advertisement you've ever seen? Terribly disappointed. <laughs> All right. Interesting. Okay. Thank you. Uh, what about you, Galen? Were you even like here enough to be having your life flash before your eyes? I, uh, I think, I think I had a moment or two where I was present in the moment, and it happened sort of near the end here, but other than that, I don't think I was very conscious about what was going on, even Bob hitting me. 
Sweet Saw. These are things that I don't think we're there. It felt like a dream. Thank you. Uh, we're going to skip ahead uh, for about an hour. Uh, where are you, team? I imagine that you are all together now, correct? Imagine it takes some time for you to uh, meet with the paramedics that uh, Skiff called. Uh, make sure um, there was probably damage on the way down. The spinner's also damaged. Uh, you have to take that in. Um, but after that, where do you go and where do you meet up? Down on the ground. Yeah, I bet. <laughs> uh, I, I think uh, a lot of this would, would circle around uh, if Galen wanted to stay put after we're down and we're out of the the spinner after paramedics and after we start to get this stuff sorted. Um, I'd be sitting on the, on like the sidewalk. Probably. Yeah. I'd be standing and talking to the paramedics as they're getting like all their, you know, they're uh, preparing to just leave. Okay. Thank, thank them for coming out and that kind of stuff. And then okay. I would turn to Galen. Okay, um, I need you to roll some sort of connections for me. Who's, who's you? Yes, you, Skiff. Sorry. Me. Yeah, if you guys went down to the ground floor to kind of witness, you know, they fell, and I'm assuming you tried mm -hmm. to go down there and be there for when the paramedics were there, or were you like, yeah. okay, yeah, all right. Yeah. So I just need a connections roll from you. Um, okay. Okay, perfect. Um, so <laughs> when you get down there, I just kind of want to know um, how you both would kind of approach this because I feel like um, when you see the car falling, you like there was no hesitation, uh, I think. From, yeah. Mm -hmm. Real quick. Uh, I actually I accidentally had it on advantage. So oh, if okay. you want to take that last that last success off and just make it one. Just one success. Your, okay. Yep. Yeah. Perfect. Thank you. Um, that does matter. Uh, okay. So when you're seeing that spinner fall, you know that it's, that's, that's it, right? Unless they can regain control of the car, they're going to die and maybe kill some other people on the way down. So I want to know what is going through your mind as you reach ground level and are approaching the scene. Are you expecting to see a burning spinner and two dead crew? Or are you blocking that out? I want to know kind of how you compartmentalize. If you compartmentalize, I just want to know what's going on in your minds. Um, we were privy to that audio when, when we heard what was happening. We yeah. weren't sure, right? So I think what I would be doing would be um, to automatically assume that their vehicle was maybe hijacked. Maybe someone else could be in there. Um, but uh, I'm not entirely sure. I know yeah. that it sounded like Galen was struggling. So there, I would assume that maybe there was somebody else in there with them. Um, I would want to be uh, seeing if there's maybe a crowd that's gathering, anybody that's watching yeah. this particular mm -hmm. thing. Mm -hmm. um, I, I want to be aware of... Uh, who looks especially interested? I mean, it's a burning vehicle, obviously, Ooh. but who looks, who doesn't look as surprised as maybe they should? Yeah, okay. Um, I, I want to see who's clever. not not mm -hmm. shocked by this. Um, so um, I, 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 that's where my, I think my mind would be going would be a analysis mode because I would have to compartmentalize. I, I couldn't think about the lives right now. I'd, I'd have to assume that this was an act of terror. Okay. Maybe. Okay, so we're not skipping ahead an hour and all. We're going to stay with these two here for a minute. Um, okay, so go ahead and roll your observation, uh, Selma. And then uh, I I would like to say, can uh, Skiff, can you roll me a 1d4, please? You bet. You said observation. Yeah. Okay. Because you're scanning to see. Three. Three, okay. Um, so it actually takes you guys about 30 minutes to get down from where you are all the way down to the scene. 
maybe because okay. there's like traffic maybe because it hits stuff on the way down and they immediately kind of like shut down um, but you're basically stuck maybe bumper to bumper on the way down but you do eventually get down there and and skiff is immediately showing his badge and you know talking to the uh, officers on the scene asking what happened you see some smoke um you, there's lots of damage there's probably like you know some some signs or some other bits of advertisement or things that were sticking out of buildings that have been hit on the way down and have crashed as well. Um, there was a lot of street damage on the way down, um, which is what that second roll was for, by the way, when I had you roll maneuver. Uh, the first one was the, the surviving the crash and the second one was the uh, damage done. Um, so there was a lot of damage. So you see that as you look around, there's a lot of rubble. You see um, fire from the car as it was like hitting stuff. It's it's totally, you know, like fucked. Um, or maybe you don't, you probably don't see the spinner actually because it's been a half an hour. Um, yeah. But you, so they've they've taken the spinner and they say that to you, Skiff. So the, so the officer there says, um, uh, ev- everyone's okay. They're, they're okay. Uh, no one was hurt, luckily. Uh, we've already taken the spinner back uh, and we uh your two gentlemen are are uh back at the office i just guessed where you guys would be and the where they would take you unless you want to go to the hospital to get checked out i should just double check uh, it took me to get down here they have already um half left. An hour. supposedly I, I yeah we're say, gonna find uh, out maybe yeah yeah maybe. I, I don't would you have think stayed? i would have left okay yeah i think i would have i think i would have stayed and waited for them yeah. Okay. Okay. So then they'll point uh, your friend, your, you know, your partners are over there. Yeah. A little shaken up, but we're just in cleanup now. Thank God no one was hurt. Agreed. Thanks for your help and yep. uh, thanks for coming so quick. Thank you. And I turn and I, I start walking. If I see them, I start walking towards them. Yeah, absolutely. So... Uh, just immediately what my um, posture is like I am sitting on my butt on the ground and I'm sort of leaning forward with my hands hanging over my knees um, my feet flat on the ground you know like that kind of position I'm just kind of like looking down is Galen alone <clears throat> or is Bob with him uh, yeah, so I am there. Um, I'll be honest. I would kind of like to do a roll for something, but... Yeah, okay. It'll determine where I am in this scene. Um, mm. I know that this hit me really hard. I'm not quite sure what to roll for that, though. If I'm able Stamina, to... Stamina, maybe? Or resolve? Is it called resolve? It's been two weeks and I've already forgotten. I think it is called resolve. Resolve is, yep. the, is the pool of... Mental strength, right? Um, yeah. That's what but I would... That's not a rollable thing. Um. I mean, stamina's fine. It's just, um. you know, that was that was a rough situation. <laughs> um, and I know how I reacted in it. I'm just... If you're dealing with something mentally, it'd be under the empathy. One of yeah, those I was going to say, I would, do, I would do insight or empathy. But I would also allow for a stamina roll. It's your choice. Mm. I'm, I think I want to try inside just to... Um... Yeah, like to know where it's coming from. <laughs> like, yeah. Oh, jeez. Ooh, okay. All right. All right, so Bob is uh, standing next to him. Uh, his arms are crossed. One um, success, by the way, for anyone listening. Thank you. Oh, thank you so much. I appreciate that. Um, he's His arms are crossed. He's looking down. Uh, at Galen um, and there's there's a level of I'll use the term empathy on his face uh, he looks concerned um, and um, I think concern's good enough he looks concerned but he's not talking well I walk up to them sitting on sit and stand and whatever they're doing. I'm curious sure also. Uh, oh, sorry, Skiff. That's right. 
So, uh, Philip's talking about what happened up there yet. I'm just talking to both of you, no mm -hmm. one in particular. Yeah, I'm, I look over at you and then I look down at Galen. Galen? Started to feel sick. Got really dizzy. Felt nauseous. Retched out the window. Everything started spinning. Was it and sick? then the spinner started spinning. Did the sickness come up on you sudden like? Pretty quick, yeah. Okay. So are we all thinking the same thing? We all think it's sabotage? That's what I'm thinking. He's the only one that ate at the diner. I had coffee, but... And y'all were there for just a minute. So maybe. It hit him hard. Very hard. Very fast. What did you have at the diner? He had the uh, breakfast noodles. French toast noodles. Is that something you have a lot? Sometimes. I'm just wondering if, if you went into the diner and said, give me my usual, would that be what they give you? I don't know. Okay. I start heading over to the group. So I've just kind of been walking around, kind of searching. Hey, guys. Hey. You all right? No one's hurt? I mean, his stomach was... Uh, I look over at Skiff, I'm like, you know, Skiff, the only, the biggest problem, like, obviously it's probably not straight up food poisoning, that usually takes time, right? It takes time for your body to, to react. And I don't know anybody that knew we were going to be just sitting up there, especially with him driving. I mean, and, and this came on and then left. But it Did was it so leave? violent. You feeling better now? I guess. Okay. I, uh... I think we might be, um... I think we're being watched. There's a vehicle around the block. Too nice. Too fancy. No one'd be driving it. Not here. As soon as I saw it, it pulled away. So I don't. Oh, go ahead. I, I'm just done. I don't think we're um. At the moment, I don't think we're as safe as we might have thought. So. Hey, Galen. We're all partners here. Like I said before, I got your back. You got ours. So when I ask you this, this is, this is partner confidentiality stuff, but I gotta know, you using anything? Anything that might've had an adverse reaction? Cause it's either poisoning or it's something else. No judgment, man. We all cope. I'm going to look at Bob and uh, say, yeah. In your experience, do you think this was that? Could have been. Okay. Okay. <laughs> Okay. 
What about your friend up there? We got some useful information. You were listening in. I don't know when your situation happened, so I'm not sure how much you caught. Well, tell me you saw a car that didn't make sense. It did not make sense, no. I don't think I'd ever see that kind of vehicle down here. wonder if they were listening in, too. It's entirely possible. Who knows? We could be tapped now. What I do think is we should... At this point, and I mean this genuinely, we should stick together as a squad as much as possible. Um, I echo what Skiff said. Uh, We are all partners in this, so I think it is going to be necessary that we have each other's backs. So I do have both you, Bob, and Galen. I've also got your back in this. So, um, yeah, there, there's a lot going on with, um, with, with my friend. And, um, I think there's, uh, maybe some layers that we just don't know about yet. I think this goes much deeper than we originally thought. Um, Next question I've got I some have. ideas. Next question I have is, um, I want to gauge your opinions on how much, if any, we share with the higher-ups, with the brass. I mean, we still owe a report. That's the thing. We, we've got to get a report in, but... Uh, frankly, I'm not sure who to trust. When it comes to talking, I... Trust Galen. It's pretty good about... Presenting information in a way that is, uh never too specific when he needs uh, when he needed not to be um, that's nothing against you two but, but it might be a good idea to go over what we have what we should say I, I'm not one for conspiracies but there's something that don't feel right and I well, when Can't the head of uh, the chief designer for the Tyrell Corporation is kidnapped, I mean, there's all kinds of implications, all kinds of threads that you could follow, ideas, right. theories. But whatever's happening, it seems... I hate to say it, but it's it seems like it's above our pay grade even. We got to do our jobs, I get it, but this is... This is shaping up to be something that might be like nation changing stuff. And uh we have a location of where uh uh Nakayama, Kano Nakayama was last seen, the chief designer. So we could follow that. We could do more research to see before we go in. We might miss an opportunity to, to, because if they get kidnapped him, they're probably not going to keep him in any one place for too long. No, no. Do, Just do you to be clear, how long ago that that happened, that abduction. Are you asking me? Or are you asking, I was asking anybody who will Okay, answer, yep, honestly, yep. I, I was. I, I, right I, I waited. I, I was. waited for a second. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I can't remember. Um, there is a case report in here for you guys. I think. Let me just double check and see if I pinned it. Um, here I did not pin it, but it is pinned now for you. It's two pages. Oh wow! It was a couple days ago. Uh, Three to four days ago, depending. Four days, maybe? Uh, it's either no. the 11th or the 12th now. It, it's right? Yeah, it's day th- it would, three, I believe. So, mm-hmm. so, if I'm not mistaken, it's currently the 11th night shift. That's right. That sounds right. Wait, no. Which is day two. It's the start of day three now, because you guys have had okay. two shifts. Yep. So this is the start of the third day, because on the first day... 
the fucking premiere and all that crazy shit went down. And then on the second day, you guys went to Tyrell Corporation and you guys went to Electric Dreams. Uh, you know, Selma went to, to Bob's and, you know, that, that ended that night. And then this is the second shift, the third bills. shift. Yep, the third shift. Sorry, Bills, Bills, yes. Yeah, um, it would be odd if she showed up. At your place, <laughs> yeah, sorry. So this, so this, this would be... Mm -hmm. This is the 12th at night? No, because the, the show started on the 11th, didn't it? No. The third, on the, the fourth, tenth. the tenth. Yeah. So then this is the twelfth. That's it was correct. The tenth, yeah. That's that's correct. Which means. Okay, but it's still the same day that we spoke with Sawyer. Yes, and, it is the same day you yeah. talked to Sawyer. And yep. Bob and I spoke with Karen Yin. Same day. No, it's a different day. Okay. Yeah, because you guys had a shift and then you guys rested. Mm. Yeah, and there's yep. four though. So you, we, you rested and then we here, spoke Here, I've got with... an actual timeline I can... Okay. Yeah, that'd be great, yeah. Yep. Uh, I'm gonna have to... Wait, don't I... Didn't I already do this in here? Hold on. I'll look at... I'll look for it in here. But I'm pretty sure it's the third day. Uh, yep, there you go. It's uh, pinned now. Because I have to... I would have to edit out some stuff. Because uh, my timeline has everything in it. Um, so, yeah. So you guys went to sleep, and then you guys did the um, electric dreams. Selma drinks. Skiff sees somebody from his past, gotcha. and Selma goes to Bill. So this is the third day, and you guys decided to go to Silver Sheen Uplink Cafe, and you're working together on day three. Um, yeah. So, and to give you an idea, it's about, because you went and saw Sawyer at around six o'clock. Uh, you talked for about an hour's worth of time. So now it's about seven o'clock, we'll say. So it's evening. 7 p.m. Yep. Because you started yeah. the 5 o'clock shift. You started your shift at 5. Um, sorry to take some time to clarify that, chat, but like... No, this it's is super, good. This is, like, it's been a couple It's of a game with time where time matters and days passing matters because um, things happen with whether or not they... Uh, you know, do stuff. So, uh, yeah, clarifying what's happening when is pretty important. So, um, well, what I, th I think when Skiff mentions it, I will pull up the report on, okay. on my, uh, yeah, on my, uh, wow, I can't believe I forgot the the name of the device. AIA? Wow. Thank Two you, weeks, KIA. Man. <laughs> no, I'm just kidding. I know. <laughs> it just kills yeah, our brain. Yeah, no, really. I can answer yeah, it. I, I know the answer, but I don't know if what is written in Sawyer's report. So I don't want to say anything yet. I'm so sorry. Sure. Yep. Yeah, so I'll, I'll pull up what I have, and I'll, I'll just a couple days. Um, I imagine. Yeah, I think you're right, Skiff. I think that um, they're likely to uh, pull this person around from place to place, never staying in one place for too long. But what's too long? You know, we might we might have a window right now if we want to go take a look. I mean, I'd do what's it. a difference? Yeah, what's a difference? A couple hours going to make to getting a report into the boss. Oh, yeah. I mean, hell, your vehicle just went down. I think you might have been poisoned, Galen. And we're being watched. I mean, this is this is urgent. I feel fired up. I, I'm, I'm game. Is there room enough in our in our spinner for all four of us? Uh, ooh, that's a good question. Somebody check we the book. We can sit on laps. It's fine. Yeah, somebody check the book because <laughs> I think it tells you uh, how many it can seat. I think I want to say it's five. I think it's. I don't think it is. I think it might it's, be two. Uh, I think it's two. All right, who's going on Selma's lap? <laughs> Come on. <laughs> um, okay, so I do want to clarify. I did just read Sawyer's report that uh, he submitted to you. Um, and it does have that it was technically September 9th. Well, I guess technically it would be September 10th yesterday. Uh, LAPD spinner, two passengers. Perfect. Okay, that's good to know. Around three or four in the morning. So it was the same night that you guys with the, the, the premiere where the building blew up and you guys went in like that all happened in one well, that's night. That's when they grabbed him. That's oh, when they shit. grabbed him. Yeah. God. Yeah. Is there a four-person vehicle 
outside of a spinner. Out, oh, since a spinner's two. Yeah, is squad there something that can be yeah. six? Squad, so you'd have to spend some promotion points to requisition that. Mm. And you could split uh, the cost I'll... between you if you'd like. Uh, how much is it? Or is that six? Yeah, ha- hand on one. Six. I'll, uh... I'll spend some. Yeah, same. Uh... Yeah. Uh... I'll chip in, uh, four. Okay. Um... You know what? I'll pick up the other four. No, it's eight. It's six. Oh, it's six. Uh, yeah. Well, I can't do math anyway. Uh, I'll pick up the other two. Uh, Is there I'll go left? ahead. Because I can't math. No. No, no there's, there's nothing left. left. You guys uh, are all set. I, yeah, I'll call it in. Use uh, whatever. Uh, so it's a connection tool? Oh yep. Mm-hmm. And then you pay for, for it. Uh, no, I'll, I'll do it, Bob. Yeah, you better do that because that'll... I will fail. Where is that? I, I see the, the, the handout. I was just looking for it on the handout. What are you looking for? The transport. Uh, it's on page 201 of the of the handbook. Thank you. Yeah, got that open. Uh, dispatch, this is Blade Runner Galen Edwards. Can you please put me through to the vehicle requisition department? Oh yeah, sure. Can do. You all right, by the way? I heard there was a very, I heard there was a, a spinner crash. Keeping it together. Okay, well, I'm glad you're all right. Hey. And I patch you through. Requisition. Hello, this is Blade Runner Galen Edwards. Uh-huh. Uh, I'm interested in requisitioning a new vehicle. Badge number B337-41. I'm clearly chewing gum, which is the thing I hate the most when it's just like smacking in your ear and I refuse to do it to you all, but just so you know, that's who you've got on the other end of this phone. Somebody is just like chomping in your ear. Uh... Gonna need to requisition a uh, spinner squad transport. Spinner's out of commission at the moment. Yeah, I know. Okay. One second. You're so gossipy down there. Mm-hmm. And I, I, you know, it's it's one of those things where you know I'm just taking my time as if there's no rush, and I'm just like, let me get this folder and blah <laughs> blah. And I just, okay. Um, <clears throat> all right. W- do you need somebody to deliver it, or are you going to come and pick it up? Deliver, please. Okay, I just need your location. I proceed to give them our location. Okay. Be there in about 15 minutes. Maybe, maybe 20. Takes probably 45 minutes for it to arrive because there's the traffic from the crash and all that stuff. Um, But you do get your, you do get your vehicle that you guys are now in charge of. So, uh, g- whoever's g- driving... Galen, you can't drive. Yeah. I know, Bob. It's all the same to y'all drive. It's a maneuverability B vehicle, by the way. Oh. Does that mean you set it as such in the uh, vehicle section? Mm-hmm. All right. And just taking timeline notes. So it's about eight eight fifteen right now. As you you've got your vehicle now, and you've been uh, standing on the street talking and kind of like watching the cleanup and stuff like that. And um, all right, where to now? Uh, uh, um, I think the plan is we're gonna make our way to uh, uh the last known location, Bennett's communication. Okay. Yep. Yep. Okay. Awesome. Um, so I need, uh, you don't need to make a driving roll when you're just doing standard stuff. 
Um, but what I would like is a stealth roll, because I assume you're being sneaky about it. So From everybody? Nope, just you guys can choose one person to roll stealth and one person to roll your observation, and it'll be the stat for the whole car. Um, I'll roll observation. Okay. Well, I'm not terrible at stealth. I think that would stealth. be a driving roll if we're all in the car, using the car to, to be stealthy, but like... If you want to do driving... On. I'm sorry. How stealthy can we possibly be if we're in a big squad transport? That's a very good question. Um, Just to be clear, mm -hmm. this isn't a giant vehicle. This is a spinner still. It's just a bigger one. Yeah. But I believe... Right, but it it, it is is still marked, right? right? Recognizable? Yeah. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Yeah. But it could be standard patrol, etc. You guys could go around the whole couple of blocks before you hit this block. You know, you could... You could make it seem routine if you wanted to. So if you want, we can do driving or we can do stealth. It's up to you guys. Whatever you feel is stronger. Well, I got uh, A in driving and B in maneuverability now, so. Yeah, okay, go for it. So driving. Driving it is. Go ahead and roll driving and then. I'm awesome. Oh, I'm wow. <laughs> yep. Oh, Super wow. Super three. Okay. Three successes dope at this shit. Yeah, that's so I'm like, Have you thought about that NASCAR? <laughs> you seem to have a good handle on it. I'm waving out the side like the queen. Like, hey. <laughs> good. Uh, okay. And then did you want to roll another uh, observation, Selma? Yes. If you want. That's yes. totally up to you. But yes, that is sure. still a thing. Okay. All right. Uh, let me roll here. Oh, okay. That is a that is a zero. <laughs> okay, all right, that's okay. You guys, you're doing great. I'm doing great. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> um, okay, so what you do notice um, as you are driving this spinner, um, actually, before I tell you what you notice, can you tell me what you're looking at? Because that will help me narrow down what information to give you. Well, I mean, I rolled a zero, the- so I imagine. Oh, sorry. No, that's right. I'm, I'm discussing it with you guys. Like this, this was the last known location. This is not the destination necessarily. So if that's the case, then we are looking for logical places from this point to where they would take someone they didn't want to be found. And they, they themselves didn't want to be found either, you know? So if there's like a uh, abandoned part of town, if there is a, uh, well, we don't we don't know any like the connections of uh, what what is uh, uh, do we have a file on Broderick Wakeman who was seen giving stuff to Nakayama? I'm gonna say yes that you do because you're you're accessing it through the um, you're accessing accessing it through your KIA. And oh, it even says in the report, it says yep. Project Wakeman rap sheet and other credentials attached below. Yep. Okay, so we want to know like last known associates, last known um, um, places of residence. Okay. Probably want to know like, did he work work for somebody? Did he do it mm-hmm. like any work for anybody? Like that's close to this area, that yep. kind of stuff. So um, he is known to frequent um, a few different uh, clubs kind of on, I believe, the lower levels. Oh, the Snake Pit. Um, And he's one of those criminals that you have on record where you know exactly what he's doing at any given moment. Uh, You guys can squeeze him when you need to, but you pretty much let him do his thing because he ends up leading you to probably more valuable... um, information for the higher uh, ranking targets that you guys want to hit or bring in. Is he a low level thug or is he like higher up? I think he's like I wouldn't say he's a low level thug um, but he's also not as important as most of the people uh, most of the gangs running around like it's like him and maybe four or five other people in his crew and he deals a very specific type of narcotics and you guys kind of look the other way because of who he usually deals to it's his contacts that make him exceptional not necessarily his uh his standing but it's not really known if he works for anybody i think you guys probably are trying to figure that out it seems to change okay 
are any of those now uh wakeman was was just seen with nakiyama not during the like he wasn't a part of the abducting crew that is correct okay since i rolled a zero i'm mm -hmm. just restringing the shoelaces in my sneakers because i can't concentrate on anything <laughs> so i i mean we can say that that's, that's absolutely RP. yeah that's some, <laughs> some uh, a good idea also we can say that this is when you remember that you have to pay your tab and oh. you're just like yep oh skiff are you getting sick no 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 i i just god bless it we were just there i forgot to pay my tab at the club uh one of the reasons i went um i'm not sure how far away we are but uh oh that's a forgot that's about a, that's that a, too a problem for another time they'll they'll keep it for you trust me for another time oh but i said i would you know i I don't want to be that person, but I guess I'm that person today. Well, back to shoelaces. Well, big tip goes a long way. Just say that. Okay. Say thanks, Giff. All right. Back to shoelaces. Now, <laughs> a brand new I'm sentence. Up, I'm looking <laughs> to see like any any last known mm -hmm. locations where uh, either Broderick Wakeman uh -huh. is, does he have any 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 haunts around here? Or, or, and, or, uh, is there, like, a place if, like, if I put myself into the shoes of the kidnapper. Yep. And I didn't have, like, a safe house set up in the suburb somewhere. Uh -huh. Where would I take somebody in this area from, or from this point? Right. Okay. So if you look at the, in your book or in the PDF, the map is, mm -hmm. is, is accurate and I can show you where we were. So the, the snake pit is listed here on the map somewhere. Yep, okay, all the way in sector one. So there's okay, the snake pit, yep. And then, so he followed from the snake pit all the way down towards Tyrell, past Tyrell and lost somewhere around here, right above the four in sector four. So now you are okay. in the corporate industrial section of town where there's Fuck. like, you know, it's offices, it's rich offices. Well, I mean, in this world, you've got like, you can have um, slums and people living on the lower levels and then the higher up you get, it, it becomes very fancy offices. So it's kind of hard to tell, you know, uh, where there's a lot of variance here. So I think based on the location that Sawyer gave you, or that's listed in the report, um, is like right past the Tyrell Corporation entrance. Almost like maybe they were dropping him off at work, but they didn't stop there. They continued going and then Sawyer lost him. But it would be in the corporate sector. Not in some sort of slums or warehouses or anything like that. That's where he lost him. Okay. Um, now the, the surveillance footage that mm -hmm. we've seen that 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 um our, our uh, ci gave us sawyer yeah um is that because my idea is to call call in to the to the office to the, mm -hmm. the station okay and ask for surveillance footage of this corner if there is any i mean it's corporate so i'm guessing there yep. is but uh surveillance footage from this corner from the night of September 9th, September 10th, and uh, see if we can uh, get a direction. Of where they were headed? Yep. Yep, okay. From here. Yep, okay. So. Yeah. So I'll call that, is that cool? I mean, I just yeah, want to know if that's plausible. Yes. Okay. So um, the thing is, and we are going to decide right now um, what priority it was to reinstall um, city cameras because when the blackout happened you lost mm. all network um so right. there aren't mm. really cctv stuff going on and at least in some areas there aren't um it's only been two or three years um and we're talking like the absolute crash that happened was you know people lost their finances overnight like i don't know how much cctv would be a priority uh for the city but I'm gonna let you guys decide, or we can roll for well, it. I have a, a like, mm -hmm. you know, divide and conquer kind of thing. Yeah. 
So I looked to I looked to Selma. I'm not like you know just talking to her, but I'm, you know. So my idea or my plan of action, I think, should be you, uh, Selma, call in, check and see if any of the any of these CCTVs cameras around here have been reinstated since the blackout. And if there is, great. See if, check for the night of the 9th, 10th, see if any of uh, the, if we can put a beat on that, the car with Nakayama in it. Mm. I am going to, God, I haven't done old fashioned police work in a long time, but I'm gonna go start knocking on doors and see if anybody saw anything that night. Okay. Hey. Cool. I can do um, the same. For the CCTV stuff, mm-hmm. depending on the location of the explosion, oh, the pop, um, that would have caused any issue, it would be a strictly hardware issue. Um, lines run would be fine, but the hardware at the endpoints wouldn't be. So the further away from wherever this happened, the more likely there could be CCTV still running, but that's without the infrastructure to take it in. <laughs> yeah, and a- according and that's to that's not going to be a huge priority. Yeah, well, so um, there is lore in the book saying that you do get a network back, but it's not for another five years. So mm-hmm. I think I think we're maybe, if you've got a certain, I think it's privatized. That's probably what it is. So corporations that want oh. to piggyback off of the old CCTV and get it running and just have their own security system set up for their corporate building, then absolutely. So you would probably have to go knocking on these corporate buildings and be like, hey, can we take a look at your footage? Okay. That's good. Yeah, yeah that makes I like sense that. To me. Yeah. yeah, so it's it's all just islands of CCTV and you just hope to get access to it. Yeah. If people allow it. Okay. Um, are we, so with, with, uh, the door knocking and whatnot, are we mm-hmm. driving in that direction right now towards the, uh, the snake pit? I think you guys, no, no you're, you're all the way in the industrial no, section, in corporate sec, yeah, corporate section, snake. sector four, snake pits all the way in sector one. Yeah, I don't know. I, I just didn't know if we were going to Investigating in that the scene first. Is that what you're getting at? Yeah, I think he was going to knock around and see if anybody yeah, saw last, anything. Last Here. known location of the, of the abducted Nakayama. That's the most pertinent thing. And then if we come up empty here, then we head to the snake pit. <gasps> oh, I thought the snake pit was the last known location. I'm sorry. No, no, no. The that's where he was grabbed was, from. And that's then, where he yeah. was grabbed. Mm-hmm. Yeah, last known location was Bennett's communication. Bennett's communication. Thank you. Yeah. All right. Been a, can I see it from the, this intersection here? Oh, yeah, absolutely. It's a very large okay. uh, building. Um, okay. And we're going to go ahead and say that they do have CCTV or their own security system, their communications. So why not? They definitely that could do that. That was my next question. Yep. Mm, okay. Um, okay. So. Their communications company. <laughs> you think yep, they would? Yep, right. They absolutely yeah, probably sense. do. Um, okay. So do you want to roll? Um, what would you like to roll? to see if you can get this access to this. Because my first thought was like tech, like they give you access to the CCTV and I'll just let you guys roll tech. Um, But Mm -hmm. also we could do observation, but I'm open to suggestions or other offers. Hmm. I'd go with a tech roll or honestly, that's just because I'm a little biased. Let's do it. We're going kind of door to door if we're uh, calling people. Um, I think what I would do is I would probably do some kind of a manipulation role. Okay. Just because I'm going to be sort of using the Blade Runner status. Yep. And as the a fact that the Prohibition Act just has, Yeah. And people yeah. are terrified to be considered as an aiding and abetting because they could be killed as well. Um, okay, so we do have a successful tech roll. So I'm going to yeah. go ahead and say that you do absolutely pull up some footage. Um, it's not, it's a static cam. 
uh, on the corner of the building, basically, to just see, you know, what people are doing um, around maybe the entrance. This is about, this is several stories up. Um, so I'm trying okay. to figure out, there's no sidewalk to be watching, but it's, I guess, just one of those corners of a busier intersection. Um, maybe a lot of the parking garages for the corporate levels are here. Um, <coughs> but you absolutely do clock the car and you clock okay. Sawyer's spinner following shortly after. Um, and it looks like okay. they head north. So they okay. go, they continue on out of frame, heading north. And then Sawyer shows up and then turns right. And you can tell that he's lost them at that point. But you're okay. able to see that they continue going north. All right. Does this vehicle look three anything? buildings on the map, are those on north of the map? Are all, all three buildings Wallace Corporation? Yes. Mm. Yes. Does the vehicle that um, Sawyer's tailing does it look anything like the vehicle that I saw? Uh, yes. When we were... Okay. Yes. So it looks like the one at Silver Sheen? Yep. Okay. All right. Well, that's uh, a familiar vehicle. Not Silver vehicle. Sheen. It would have been downstairs when they crashed. Oh, downstairs. Yep, down on the ground when they level. Okay. Yep, yep, yep. Okay, got it. Got it, got it. Mm -hmm. um, so that this was, I think, the vehicle that I, I saw earlier. Um, that's... It's got to be. Got to be something there. That's just more than coincidence. Well, and since since we got it on on CCTV, are there any markings on the vehicle? Nope. Any distinguishing marks? No. Uh, no distinguishing marks. Uh, however, okay. you did have a license plate from Sawyer, but I want to be explicitly clear: you'd have to run it. You'd have to run here's it through a, the system. Here's a question: Did mm -hmm. we get any visuals on the potential suspects? No. Everyone was in the vehicle, windows tinted, uh, nothing from the CCTV. However, Sawyer did give you a photo that he took himself with his KIA, which I can drop in the Discord for you. I love all the pieces you guys are have and are putting together, dude. This is so cool. Okay. can't believe I forgot my tab. Again. Again. How do these things happen? People still drink that. What? Oh. Are you talking about tab? Like tab? No, tab. Like the bar. Like the bar tab. Tab. All right, Are you feeling so okay, Galen? Are you all right? Do you need to sit down? Are you sitting high. down? Okay. That's his I win. mean, we're in a car. I uh, assume I would be sitting down. You better be sitting down. The, the car that is shown, mm -hmm. is it of any particular make and model that would be rare? Not not painfully rare, just it's not a junker, right? It's a nice looking no, car. No, it's not a junker. Yeah. Um, but does it look like a corporate car? Which would be a thing. Uh, it doesn't necessarily mean that it is tied to a corporation. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But there uh, are. I have an answer for you. Um, and I think okay. everyone would know this. Uh, there, there are a lot of services where um, it's like corporate limousine services where they take you to and from work so you don't have to drive. And it's incredibly popular. Uh, and this one looks like a higher end one that like, you know, the CEO might be driven to work in. Like corporate Uber? Yeah, pretty much, <laughs> sort of. But like, yeah, there's a lot that the drivers would have to go to, blah, 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 to, to be vetted and all that, so. So uh, it's possible this... that this, oh, go ahead. No, sorry, finish your thought. I was just going to say, it's possible that this could have been rented and driven through that area if there's any records kept of uh, a business or an organization that do that does rent out these cars. We might be able to find out where it came from and who got it. 
uh, this image that we have, mm -hmm. <clears throat> this was taken uh, by whom? Sawyer. When he Sawyer. was uh, tailing them, yep. Okay. Was there any... Were there any stops that were made along the way? Do we know that? Um... I can double check and read the report, but basically I'm not going to tell you anything that wasn't in that report that Sawyer gave you. Okay. Um, just to cover my own ass. <laughs> Suspects were dressed casually, number three in total, and adhered strictly to a work rota, indicating some manner of professional training. Initial assumptions were that these were hired security, and I'm just reading this out, by yeah. the way. I'm going mm -hmm. over the report as we're trying to do this. Uh, were hired security employed by Tyrell or Nakayama to serve in a plain clothes capacity. Further surveillance indicated that Nakayama's lack of acknowledgement of said suspects was due to possessing no awareness of their presence rather than ambivalence, leading to... C, documenting their... C is Sawyer? Okay. Yeah, he, yeah, he uh, redacted... Yeah, he redacted right. his name from the report. Um, right. Okay. Um, so you're documenting their descriptions with digital images attached to this case file. Uh, Sawyer so notes the precision, fastidiousness, and overall competence of the suspects to be of grave concern. I think it's possible that we can talk to some of the business owners down on the ground floor they might have seen something if you notice here and I'm going to point at the picture there's a very bright green um, outfit that this uh, suspect in blonde is, uh, is wearing it stands out quite a bit they might have seen them Um, I got a question um, mm -hmm. let me see if I can form this right we have a, uh, we have a license plate, but it is, um, we've not run it, but we do have it, mm -hmm. uh, right? Mm -hmm. That's correct. Mm -hmm. What is it? Uh, I would have asked uh, uh, if it's been sent over to. It is in the case report, but let me just double check. Because if it's not in the case report, then I redact my statement. Stupid question. Yes. Stupid uh, answer. Let's go. <laughs> our suspect Emerald, this, uh, this blonde uh, woman wearing green. Mm -hmm. um, I mean, is this, do we have, I, I, I can see on the picture, I mean, we kind of have a profile there. Yes. Mm -hmm. Do we have a clear profile of mm -hmm. this person? Yes. I mean, I'll show it to Selma and I'll show it to uh, Skiff. Yeah. Skiff's already seen uh, it. Yeah. Stupid question. Do we recognize any of these people? I'm fairly certain the answer to that is at least a at least a yes on my part, right? The blonde narrator? Yes. Yep. The blonde. The blonde, the blonde yep. woman, actually. Sorry, Emerald, mm -hmm. I guess, yep. is how she's referred to. That's, uh, that's the girl. That's the one. Yeah, yeah. well, you guys also recognize the blonde male as, as Tyson Renzo. Mm. Right. So, yeah, okay. Me. Wow. Hey. Mm. Tyson Renzo. Yep. Mm. Mm. Uh, yeah. When Skiff says that, I'll, I'll just make a reference from your story that you told us. Mm. This is who you're talking about. Mm. Okay. Okay. Um, also, I'm not seeing uh, a license plate in the case report. And I redact my statement. I'm so sorry. <laughs> Shit. Because I was going to ask, looking at it, um, considering that there's an Uber service of some sort, so usually there's some sort of qualifier that goes along with that sort of stuff. Yeah. If it's a registered business, just like, just okay. like uh, <laughs> cabs. Damn it. I, it's okay. I am actually on the line with Flick right now, and Flick says it's in the report. So you do have the license plate number. Okay. I thought so. Um, but let me just... I'm not seeing it. Let me just double, triple check. I also thought it was in there. 
It might be listed strangely on the night of surveillance KA24. Mm-hmm. I don't know what that is. That just representative of the I mean, day. Hold on. <laughs> I have to be so careful. I'm so sorry. No, um, that's no, absolutely. Mm-hmm. Of course. Um, yeah, if, yeah it, if says, it is in here. It does. It says loading N into waiting spinner designation S1WC8321KK registered under personal use. Note, run plates via HQ database ASAP. I do not see that. I don't uh, see that either. I don't are, see that either. There are two pages two. of the report. Uh, yeah. there oh, so, oh, there's yeah. two. Mm-hmm. Oh, right. Oh, I, okay. Yeah. Well. So I pinned to the first page and then you, you'd look at the second one. Nah, after yeah. Yet, okay. Yep, All, uh, mm-hmm. Okay. Mm-hmm. All right. So here's my question. Mm-hmm. You want to give us a second page? <laughs> it is. It's, it's in the Discord. Just, just, yeah. just pin it. Just pin yeah, the Yeah, sure. Sec- I'll pin yeah. the second page as well. There Thank you go. You. Um, so my question is, looking at this designation, um, is it is it noticeable any sort of qualifying numbers, letters, combination, whatever, that would be, this is a commercial vehicle. Um, I mean, we're cops. We, we, to some degree, would know uh, the difference between a civilian vehicle and a commercial vehicle. Um, well, it is registered for personal. Uh, I see that registered for personal use. Yeah, so I think, um, but again, it, it is very similar to what you would see as a corporate, the corporate Uber service. So it's... So it could, so that could be a dead end. Yeah. All right. I appreciate that. Thank you. Yeah. Yep. Well, from what the report says, they're well practiced in their movements and difficult to notice. That doesn't mean that they weren't noticed. However, if we check the cams and we didn't see them, uh, beyond a certain point, maybe it's time that we start asking some questions to some people down on the ground. Uh, with without any real reason not to, uh, can I can I run this through my KIA, or do I need to call this? Uh, no, this, you, you uh, run it through. That means that everyone knows what we're up to. Mm-hmm. Well, yes and no. So I'm, I'm trying to think about just normal day-to-day operations. Running mm-hmm. a plate mm-hmm. in a in a city mm-hmm. with a thousand cars yep. wouldn't be a huge issue with a more defined like infrastructure mm-hmm. um, and technology that would be an issue. But everything's been lost. Most things are on paper now. Yep, that is true. So uh, that being said, yes, running this <laughs> would probably pop up to some degree. But I don't. I am wondering: Do I do that through the KIA, or would I call that in? Either you can do either, but you would have to connect your your KIA to the mainframe, purposefully okay. to do that, which is fine. Like okay. nothing is gonna, you know, happen to you or anything like that. But like you would sure. upload, you would connect to the mainframe to upload your reports or whatever, whatever the case may be. But you, it's a conscious thing that you would be doing, and then you would be running that plate through your your KIA. Okay. Yep, I was just wondering. Yep. I, I am not doing that. Okay. I am also very suspicious of everything going on because there's too many what the fuck moments. Um, yep, okay. But yeah. So we are uh, still in the vehicle, right? Mm-hmm. We're just mm-hmm. we're just cruising. And um, I, I'm assuming you guys kept going north to see what there is to see. But Skiff hit the nail on the head where it's mostly buildings until it leads all the way to Wallace Corporation. Okay. There are probably a few other corporate buildings of note that stand out to you uh, on the way to and from. It's like, this is like Hollywood Boulevard of corporations, right? You've got, you know, Tyrell, and then the further away from Tyrell you go, it, it's a little bit more unknown. So, um... What is what is Wallace Co- Corporation's, like, uh, bag, I guess, so what they do? right now, um, they're Army. only... Yeah, they're only known for, well, actually, it's not even farming yet. Um, it's oh. like the beginning of farming, but they're, they do patents right now. So, um, yeah, it's, and they're not well known yet. 
they're kind of a little bit more underground at the moment. So when you were like, are all three of those buildings Wallace? And I was like, yes, that's because they are in this map, but this is 2037. So we're going to redact that and say there's maybe one building. That's Wallace core right now. Um, okay. Yeah. All right. They get, they end up having the patent for something that solves the food crisis in 2025. So in two years from now, they're going to be big because they helped solve a food shortage with a, with a bean, I think. It's something that they can grow. But yeah, so they would be working on that and developing that right now. So probably the further they get, you get, the more farmland you start to see. Mm. In, that, in that video that we saw of mm -hmm. this intersection, uh, were they uh, proceeding at like a rapid pace or nope. were they like a bang? Okay, yep. so militaristic gonna, like they were not gonna yep. be fucking noticed then yep they're they were trying like really calculated hard. and yep. yeah well with given given with what we've seen from the, the security cameras from uh bennett they weren't breaking any laws they weren't standing out in any way and that type of vehicle is pretty commonplace around here it seems like a, a rental from a fleet they might even have a fleet of these yeah so I don't know if, if checking around here is going to bear any fruit uh, if we talk to people. I don't, I don't know if they were doing anything noticeable. Also, mm. if I'm not mistaken, this is... this. Th they came through here early in the morning. I think the case file said somewhere around 1.30 a.m. or something like that. 1.20 a.m. Uh, is when the, the deal went down at Snake Pit. So from here mm. to there, it's more, even more time, so... People are up, but in the business sector, not too many. So my idea, or my, uh, I think the next course of action that we should take is go to the snake pit, check around for uh, uh, um, Breck, uh, Breckman, uh, Broderick. Check around for Broderick Wakeman, see if he knows anything, and uh, maybe try and run that plate without raising too many flags uh i think the only way of really doing that is back at the station itself we might be able to get away with it but not remotely i might have a way all right well i mean I wonder we're gonna have to meet with the captain yeah most Which means definitely we need to get our ducks in the row yeah yeah was the want to do that first before we head to the snake pit yeah Yep. Yeah. Probably. Right. Yeah, because I would say, like, you you just had an accident in the vehicle, and, yeah, I think there's no getting out of it now. If you if you don't find him, he's going to find no. you. Yeah. Okay. Okay. That's not ominous. Great. Well, I just mean it's kind of a big deal, so I think he's going <laughs> to... Well, it's, it's going to be one of those situations, like, you're a loose cannon, Galen. Yeah, yeah, <laughs> yeah. yeah. Like, depending on, depending on how the conversation really goes, there might be some demotion <laughs> points or whatever that happens there when you, you lose uh, some promotion points or whatever it is. There's a mechanic for it in the game when you get chewed out by your boss. Uh, so... <laughs> That would be really good. Okay. Badge and gun on the on the desk. Yeah, All right. That is a possibility. I can't wait. You can you can lose your badge and your gun, and you can choose to wait out your your uh, suspension, or you can continue to work as you're suspended. So that's pretty cool. Um, but yeah. Okay. So let's go ahead and uh, head back to headquarters, um, which is in uh, sector five um, at the moment. Uh, so you guys head back. And we're reporting mm -hmm. to. We're not reporting to to Gaff. We're not, reporting to. Yep, not anymore. Holden, you're right? Yep, you're reporting directly to Holden. And for those okay. of you who have seen the first film, which is not a requirement at all by any means for this story, but if you have, Holden is the guy in the very first scene interviewing the replicant that gets shot as he's interviewing this replicant, and they end up, um, you know, giving him uh, an iron lung, and they call him Iron Lung, and he's just like. He's a hunter through and through. Uh, he hates replicants. He won't stop until he's dead. And uh, he has now been promoted. Uh, so, yeah. Yes, the rep with the mustache, Leon, I believe his name was. Mm. Um, so, mm -hmm. on our way back, mm -hmm. I imagine we're going to try and compare notes. Try and figure out what we're going to say, how we're going to say it, and who's going to say what. Um... 
So let's go back a couple days to the bomb and let's start from there. Hold on. I'm actually going to take my headphones off because I'm playing Holden and I don't want to hear your plan. Is that okay? Hey, okay, wave at no. me when you're done. Uh, yeah. You stop that way. <laughs> All right. All right. Um, I've got my KIA up. Um, I'm looking at little bits of notes that I've taken. Um, and I guess we just, just start talking about our what we've done, what we've seen. So, before the explosion, you two, you were up the street a, a fair amount on, uh, you were staking somebody out, is that right? Yeah, we were on a yep. completely different lead. We were yep. looking for, um, uh, uh Corey Rosick, who was, uh, legally developing ad halos. Yep. And then we heard your SOS and we came to help. Right, which we did call out. We asked for assistance, and y'all arrived very promptly. Um, we engaged the subject at his apartment. He was resistant. <sighs> he was resistant. Galen. Would we say he was violent? Well, I think that goes without saying, Bob. Yeah, I'm just saying before the bomb went off. Before the bomb went off. Hmm. We can say that there was heavy suspicion. Heavy suspicion. We were unaware of the status of the interior of the apartment. Tried to find a way inside without alerting the suspect. Upon... Upon... questioning him, and I'm, I'm, I'm sort of directing this, uh, directing this towards, uh, Selma and Skiff. So upon, um... Galen uh, talked to him first, got him to open the door. I presented myself um, as a law officer, and we had gotten some information that, uh, a report that he would tell memory the same way. Uh, we had it verbatim written down. So I asked him, and he gave me that uh, memory. His whole tone changed, his his demeanor changed, and he told it in a very sort of vibrant way, even though he was definitely in a very stressful situation. I stopped him halfway, told him he was under arrest, he slammed the door. I attempted to shoot through the door with the assumption that he was a replicant. Mm. Um, there was a noise from inside. Uh, pretty sure I, I hit him, but there was no way to know. Couldn't pop the door. Um, at that point, we both started running. At which point did we were we aware of a potential explosive device? Uh, the suspect announced it. Mm-hmm. With no visual of the interior of the apartment or any way of getting into it. We Galen followed a uh, procedure to uh, attempt an evacuation mm. um, as best it could be done. We both made it down to the street, got into our spinner. At this point, I believe y'all had vigil at some point. Is that right? Yep. Yeah. Selma um. proceeded to contact whoever possible and yep. uh, let everybody know to evacuate as well. Right, right. Got the megaphone out. Um... We had a couple, a couple of suspects, actually, uh, we had to, um, reprehend. Um, I'm pretty sure I decked one of them. I don't know. It's been a long Un- few unaffiliated. days. Unaffiliated. It was, uh, Everett, Ever Castilian. That's right. That's right. No, no relation to this, to this case. He just happened to be in the area. But a known entity. Yes, a very known entity. Okay. 
you decked them? Well, we clock, we clock the, uh, yeah, this, the, this has no bearing on the case I- itself. It's just what happened. Mm. We were accosted by some thugs, we dealt with yep. them. We clocked yep. the replicant jumping from one building, the building that he was in, to the yep. next building over. Lost him there because we could not pursue. Uh, the evacuation happened, and then shortly yep. they're off after the explosion. Yeah. All right. We also confirmed that none of us have had any uh, bomb defusal training. Right. That is important to say. Um, all right. We both left in an attempt to go to one of their known uh, locations. Um, and that's when on. things got explosive. Yeah. So we are back at headquarters and you have walked sort of directly to Holden's office. Uh, He is there and when you enter in, he was very much like, good, I wanted to talk to you anyway. Uh, He's very, very well dressed, um, stern. Uh, It's very hard to kind of gather if he likes you or doesn't like you, to be honest. He's very to the point. Um, all business, almost always, and I don't think, I don't think he really laughs at jokes either. Um, I'm trying to think of other interactions you may have had with him. He's usually the first person to speak up with, um, a little bit, uh, bold plans off the wall a little bit. Um, it's clear that he will bend protocol to get the job done, uh, and he hates replicants. Uh, so that's it. Okay, so we are now here. You all are standing at attention, probably right in front uh, of him. And he is looking at the report that you have submitted, kind of glancing it over. Uh, and then he looks up and who's, we're going to say that it's going Galen, Bob, Skiff, and Selma. Like you guys are standing in your units. Okay. Sure. All right, perfect. So, um, <clears throat> this up here. So you two, you four were working together before the report came in? Yes, sir. And what were you two doing? And he points to Team Mastiff, which is Selma and Skiff. They're Crane, I believe. Oh, yeah, you're right. They're Crane. You're Mastiff. Yep. What were you doing, Team Crane? Were you canvassing someone? We were, uh, yeah, uh, stake out. Yep. Looking for uh, uh, a suspect in a uh, illegally developing ad halos, Corey Mm Rosick. Corey Rosick. But we uh, had just begun our shift and we were uh, notified by the other team of, uh, of a situation and the uh, required aid, and we were close. Okay. When did you find out about the bomb? Uh, we found out about the bomb right after the suspect, the replicant that we were there to to retire, uh, slammed the door in our face and, uh, told us that there was, uh, told us about the bomb. We had no real information on the bomb. I had asked the rest of the team if anyone had any bomb defusal training. Bob shot through the door, managed to wound the replicant, and we followed evacuation procedures in the building to the best of our ability, proceeded to exit the building, and 
hunt the replicant. Mm. Replicant has been identified as Tyson Renzo. On the report. Okay. He blew up. He was responsible for the bomb. That is correct, sir. All right, explain to me how you got from bomb in the apartments to the morgue. What happened down there? In the morgue, sir? Yes. Um, that actually comes down to information we received from Lieutenant Gaff um, that there were uh, some bodies on the slab down there that matched uh, the description um, and made some comments about them being um, not N6s, but potentially better than models, but we went to go um, confirm for ourselves. Um, we entered the morgue and saw both of them on the slab, the um, uh, the there uh, the location was empty of anybody, save for the two bodies on the slab. We investigated the bodies themselves up close. Uh, and I turned to Galen. A uh, bunch of things happened simultaneously. When the investigation, the initial investigation of the uh, bodies took place, I reached out to try and find the... Um, the... Uh, well, the, the staff at the time, Mildred, uh, reached out to dispatch. Dispatch said that she was down the hall, went to investigate, found Mildred dead in the hall. Okay. Uh, it was actually so around this time that I noticed that uh, one of the replicants on this table that was meant to be dead appeared to be breathing. I called out to my partner in a way that he would recognize that something was wrong. And at that point, I stood in a position to not be noticed by the replicants if they happened to look. And I pulled my firearm and I held it on them and continued to make some conversation outwardly to indicate that there was a situation. We communicated with each other uh, as best we could as to not give away our intentions to the replicants. Selma and myself then investigated further uh, down the hallway to see if there were any replicants aside from the two on the slab. We and, uh, detected. checked the area. Oh, go ahead. And Selma had noticed that there was someone moving around inside storage. Okay. Inside the records. So, did we apprehend who was inside storage? No, sir. Uh, we contacted dispatch. We. F- uh, Selma had discovered that there was in fact a bomb that was being planted. We had to act with haste and uh, we uh, breached the door and there was an exchange. Uh, Bob was injured, but in the process he uh, put down the replicant. Selma double tapped. This is all happening after shots fired inside the uh, the actual morgue area mm. where the two replicants were caught breathing. Bob and Skiff both fired in tandem and I put see. them down. So yeah, we Detective have... Detective Kalispell was able to... Oh, I apologize, Captain. We have four dead replicants. Are these bombs connected? 
There are well, three dead replicants. The other, dead as, replicants. as 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 per um, a little higher up on the um, report there, the other one was able to hop across the buildings. I look over at Skiff. Yeah, we were outside waiting um, as backup. We had a little mm-hmm. um, inconsequential scuffle with some with some street elements, uh, but we noticed the replicant suspect jumping from one building to the other building, and uh, we could not pursue, so the uh, suspect escaped. Um, we then convened afterwards. Um, and eventually we ended up, uh, in the morgue, uh, I was made aware, uh, through nonverbal signals that, that, uh, there was a, a tense situation. I, un- I came to understand that the two replicants on the table might not have been retired fully, so, uh, Detective Windham and I... Uh, drew our weapons, took two two simultaneous kill shots, and went to reconvene with the other, uh, with um, Detective Whitaker and Edwards at the, the files room. So we have three dead replicants and one that got away. Are these bombs connected? It would appear so. They all are the same model replicant, same look, same hair, same everything. It came off an assembly line. Which we were able to... Um, follow uh, up uh, with. Caitlin and I. Yeah, we were able to follow up with the Tyro Corporation. They gave us information about their um, markings. Um, Do we have serial and numbers? We, yes. We came back to the morgue. Um, the replicant I retired uh, did still have the ocular cavity was uh, undamaged. We were able to use a device uh, that the morgue has. Are these to serial numbers in your report? They are. All three? No. The other two were um, damaged uh, beyond recognition from the angle of fire between uh, Detective uh, Counselor and myself. So, how many serial numbers do I have in this report? One. And you talked to Tyrell? Did they give you any information with the serial number? Due to the issues surrounding the loss of um, servers and uh, information, there was uh, some contention about the ability they to you give around. us much information. Yes. Yes, sir. All right. Who did you deal with? Uh, their public relations, Karen Yen. I'll make a call. Where are you now? We uh, have a few leads to continue to follow up. Um, there's some more information in the file of what we've received. However, we are not sure what is potentially red herrings. Um, Do we think there this is Tyrell? Le- uh, my face drops a little bit. Um, Narrator, can yes. I ask a question? Yes, you have. Can I roll? Can. can I? I have been mm-hmm. observing yep. Holden the entire mm-hmm. time. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. I'm curious what his, what is his demeanor? Are his hands folded? Is he mm-hmm. doing something with his hands? I have my is arms he looking crossed directly? right now, and yeah, okay. he's looking directly. Okay. He seems to okay. like he's listening, but just as I've been RPing, he's interrupting when he feels like he sure. wants certain yeah. information. Yep. Yeah. I, I caught that. I caught yep. that. He yep. seems to be uh, stopping us as we're talking here. So yep. um, I just wanted to check in. Yep. Uh, I just feel that it's important to take note here, sir. Things could have been much worse had it not been for everyone's actions. Uh, specifically, Bob, Skiff, and Selma were imperative 
to the entire process of protecting the, well, the precinct. What about you? You weren't? I think that... I think that... I was able to help, sir. But I feel that it's important to mention that they went above and beyond. Right. Noted. Sir. <clears throat> Sir, Galen's uh, behavior throughout this entire uh, ordeal has been exemplary, if I may put that on the record. He does not react this way, but like, my God, I was not expecting you to do fucking good go for bat for him. Okay, cool, cool, cool. Okay, sorry. <clears throat> Uh, I do not have any physical reaction except I am looking, my eyes are locked on you, Skiff, and I'm like searching your face to see if you're full of shit or if you're telling the truth. All right. So do we think Tyrell is involved in this? Is Tyrell a lead? I think um, Tyrell is worried about covering their own ass, sir. Yeah, of course. Today's a big day for them. A big day for burning documents. As uh, we n noted in the report, there was a lot of, there was a flurry of activity and it didn't seem anything other than potential destruction of documents. Um, we have reason to believe that they're destroying documents? Yes. Yeah. All right, I'll send a team over. Anything else? Yes, actually. Sir. Um, oh, go ahead. Go ahead. We're not going to let this go, sir. We'll get Renzo. I would expect nothing um, less. We are we in the process. Oh, I was just going to say, we are in the process you. of uh, following up uh, on a uh, Mr. Nakayama. Uh, was abducted several days ago. Um, I'm sorry. CEO Nakayama of Tyrell was abducted? Yes. When was this? Three days ago. It wasn't three days ago. Oh, yeah, it was. Yes, it would Here's have been the night. Yep, yeah, the night of the yeah. thing. Okay, okay. And how do you know this? We have received some information through CIs, uh, but do not wish to divulge the information or the source. But they're directly. reliable? We believe so. Absolutely. <sighs> Is this in the report? No. No. Why not? We don't know who there we can you. trust. What do you mean? Sir, we have reason to believe that the department has been breached by replicants. We're not entirely sure here. We don't know to what degree, and we don't... We're in no position to accuse. We're in no position to... The information that we have isn't concrete. Everything right now is circumstantial at best. However, there's very real events that have taken place. What do we have? A bomb. We have two bombs, one that's gone off and one that hasn't in a very secure building. Is that it? And two bombs? An individual that seems to have come off an assembly line along with a few others. You think someone here gave them access? I think it's likely. It doesn't make any sense otherwise, sir. Do you have any suspects? Not as of yet. No. no. Have you told anyone else? No. 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 Don't. This stays here. And I want to report directly from you. Not in writing. Sir. Understood. Anything else? 
Yes, sir. Sir, if you'll permit me. Go on. We have to know that we can trust you. I'm going to take out the light. I'm going to say, can you look up and to the left, please, sir? Holy shit, I need you to roll, because this is the most insulting thing. Holy shit, dude! Oh, I love this! Please succeed. Roll whatever you want. But your highest stat manipulation. Yeah. <laughs> oh my god! <laughs> oh, wow. Okay, you got a four. You got a four, dude. That's like. Double crit. <laughs> That's insane. Double crit, okay. So I think we see, like, there is no hiding the absolute wow. disgust on his face. Like, you just insulted him to the nth degree, and he, like, he I takes a, yep. I stare without <sighs> blinking. Yeah, he takes time. a large breath in, and you can kind of hear the hiss from his iron lung. Uh, and he pauses, and there, you know, you see Galen and Holden kind of in a death stare almost for a minute. Like, who is going to break first? And he doesn't move. He just moves his eyes up and to the left. Do I see a number? There is no number. Apologies, sir. It's all right. I'd probably do we the don't same. don't know who we can trust. We think there might have been some kind of code, something they were trying to destroy. We don't know. We know it was a replicant. Code? Something, some script, some language. I don't have a legend for it. I've been trying to figure it out. There's a so we think we, quite a bit, sir. they were trying to get into the storeroom to destroy something that we had? And you think somebody on the inside tipped them off to it? Yes. Okay. Yes. All right. Let's talk about what happened about an hour ago. I have a destroyed spinner. Irreparable. What happened? Ah, uh, that was my fault, sir. I lost control of the vehicle. Why? Um, I believe it was some kind of food poisoning, sir. The look on on my face now is, are you for real? Um, but then he leans back and oh, I'm trying to decide. You roll the four, dude. Um, I'm going to let that hold for the remainder of the scene. I sigh and then I tap the report and look at you and then look at the door. I'll talk to you all later. Good luck. Yes, sir. Thank Captain. you, sir. Uh, you guys can have <coughs> some promotion points after that. Um, because of this success, uh, successful reporting that you did to Holden. Um, he was quite pleased. So yeah, you guys can get, um, ooh, I'm actually just going to go ahead and give you 10 each for that. It was really solid. Plus, uh, nice. Galen rolled that four for manipulate and, uh... Yeah, that's insane. Yeah, it's absolutely oh insane. So I'm just going to give you the max amount. Um, yeah, it was very ballsy play. Uh, but wow, holy shit, dude. Um, I think he I respects that you did it. understand. Yeah, how serious it was. But you also um, played on his hatred of replicants, right? Like, he would do that. He would be so mm -hmm. upset, you know, 
you know, dogged, like, I'm going to hunt them down, that he would do it to his boss. So mm-hmm. you got him in a good way. Um, I, I believe that's our highest up, goal so far. Mm-hmm. I brought up Nakayama, but yes. I have to assume we had not discussed this at all. Whether Am or not to bring up Nakayama? Because we left it out. We left it out of the report. You did but leave it out it of the up. report. Yep. And I'm going to leave. I, I'm just putting that out there. Yeah. Well, I, I was under the impression that we were keeping that quiet on purpose. Mm-hmm. Uh oh. Okay. All right. Mm-hmm. Which is why I did this entire thing with the mm. uh, with uh, Captain. Yep. Okay. Yeah. That's perfect. Um, but now I believe there will be a missing persons report filed in the uh, office for him. Um, which is fine. I have to roll to see if uh, Holden is going to do it or not. Um, you might have a day or two where he just lets it sit on his desk. Uh, do you want to go ahead is it and now? roll a 1d3? Um, let me take a look. So it is day three. It is September 11th. So technically, like, on the 9th, you episode one the premiere you spent one hour of it in the 9th of september and then it ticked over midnight okay. to be the 10th which was the day though of okay. the premiere um okay and then... i just mean like what what day of the week oh like... oh geez um let's find out i guess we can just look at a calendar here it's 2023 uh let's <laughs> see uh, the 9th is a saturday okay ninth is a saturday uh so we'd be on a monday and 11th is a monday yep Mm-hmm. Okay. Okay. Eight. Now, what do you do? Are we all out of the office? I'm you like can outside. be if you like. Yeah. Um. um I think that yes. was decidedly better than than I was anticipating. I mean, I don't know about y'all, but that was pretty tense. Asking the goddamn chief to check his serial number. I might not have shown it in there, but my asshole pucker. Like, you put a coal in there, you would have got a diamond. Pretty ballsy. We had to let the chief know that we mean business. Glad it worked. Or else we'd be visiting you guarding a hot dog stand. <laughs> Maybe. Maybe. Well, we got work to do. <sighs> no. I need some coffee. Um, I'm just gonna go grab a cup. Um, I just need to think on just a little bit, and, um, do we want to reconvene somewhere? I mean... We gotta run that plate? Yeah. Yeah. Well, yeah. 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 I think that's probably for the best. Um, do I want to put that directly into, like, my KIA, or... I mean, because I know that's gonna put it in the system, right? narrator yes it is uh okay. and i will just be you're already thinking it so i will just confirm uh you your options are to upload it through your own kia to use someone else's computer or your terminal okay i um, maybe we ask the chief best way to do this without yeah drawing too many eyes i'll ask him. yep okay okay all right I'm going to let that four manipulation still stand. It's the highest roll I think we've seen the entire game so far. So when you walk back into the office, he just looks up at you and you ask him, you know, which way to do it. And he holds out his hand for the number. I give him the yeah. the report and yeah. I'll send the information to your terminal, KIA. Thank you, sir. Um, that was integral. So everyone can take a fucking humanity point right now. That was a really big deal. <laughs> Just take it now. 
humanity and the other one. Take one each for that. Promotion. Yeah. Well, is it promotion and then humanity? Yes, both of those. Yep. Okay. Yeah. You can get some level ups after this. Okay. Um, <clears throat> yeah. Whew. Run, All right. you, running the license was yes. the integral. Okay. The fact that you did it through Holden, it yep. was integral because you could have run it through your own KIA. You could have done it on someone's terminal, your own terminal. You could have had Natalie do it. Like, there's a lot that you could have done that would have. God pot- damn you. He heard my head. I was like, yeah. see if Natalie can do it on the sly. Yeah. Uh, there was a lot. Get her that some you more pie. <laughs> yeah, exactly. <laughs> um, okay, so that did something. I'm not saying it's necessarily like supreme good or bad, but it it was uh, important. Um, okay, so now what would you like to do? Um, I'm just gonna have a little coffee. They gonna um, give you back another spinner there, Galen? You think? What's that? We're going to take the squad. We'll take the squad spinner. Yeah. We already requisitioned it. Fair enough. And I got to be honest with you, I don't really feel like driving very much. No, I always feel like driving. I'm fine. All right. Um, Selma. Do my best thinking. When you went to go get your coffee, what are you thinking about? Oh. Uh, Sawyer thinking about if he's okay um i'm wondering who the uh, person with the beanie is because that's also you know it's a piece of that triangle right so i'm i'm thinking about um skiff's relation to uh, uh emerald and um how tyson just seems to be showing up every every damn place where mm-hmm. where there's trouble um i don't know how they ha- how many of him are yeah. out there um but i'm thinking you know if, if we're seeing him at the scene of almost every crime here it's got to be it's got to be upper hundreds at this point if there's if there's crime it seems like he's just there so um it's kind of going rare. over my head just all yeah the, it, yeah it's pretty I mean, obviously they're going to use the same uh, model for a lot of uh, replicants, but it's pretty rare actually to see so many that look identical in the same area. Yeah. Like usually they try to change their hair or whatever, depending on too. the, yep. So it they're absolutely strikes same, you as right? odd that they're so identical. Odd. Yep. Yep. Yeah, because, you know, I've, I've been around replicants a long time and um, at this point that just doesn't add up. It's it's like it's like you're going through like a like a department store and you see the same aisle after aisle after aisle and it's all filled with the same shit. You're like, where's the variety? So, for me, that that tracks is very strange that we're seeing the same person everywhere. Yep. Okay. Is anybody else? What's on your mind, Galen? Uh, while Selma's getting coffee, um, I probably would have taking Bob aside. Ooh, okay. Are you all right? Yeah, I'm fine. Why? I almost killed you today, Bob. Yeah. But you didn't. It's not like you did it on purpose. I mean, I don't know. Bob, I... These drugs that I get you... Yeah. I was actually a little surprised that you said yes back there when they asked. It's not good to hide the truth all the time if you're trying to stay out of, well, stay off of people's radar. Sometimes you have to give them a little bit. Okay. Yeah. Right. Look. You think... Oh, the drugs. They're not just for you, Bob. I 
I don't think it's surprising. I don't care what you get up to as long as you do your job. You do your job. That's it's how I do my job, Bob. Eventually, I'm going to have to catch up with Ripple. I don't know if they were from him or what. Are it's you never happened before. It, how soon before it happened did you take some? A couple hours. All right. It was a very quick and violent episode. What are you feeling now? I'm angry, Bob. I'm real angry. At what? At myself. It's been a long time since I trusted anybody, Bob. Partner or not. I know you got my back. Yeah, I do. I do. I can't not have yours. Was uh, one of the first cases that we worked. Was that um that break in? I had all these markers to it. And you you saw me pop something, and I saw you see me. It's been a long time since I've trusted anybody so yeah you get my back I got yours these two others don't seem like bad people I don't know what we're getting into I don't know who we can trust And the captain. Oh, we'll see. Heard a lot of stories about him. Yeah. He Figured mentioned I'd put the heat on me if things were going bad. I mentioned what I did because he kept bringing up Tyrell. I thought I had a lot of hate. gonna, well, a missing case file's gonna go up soon enough. We got a limited amount of time before it does if they're gonna move this person. But I figured we're competent. All of us, all four of us is competent. We're lucky we might even catch them moving them. I'd have to pull some double shifts though. You gotta bring somebody in, Bob. We gotta find out what's going on. 
We gotta find out soon. Yeah. Otherwise, yeah. if we're not here at the precinct, might be gone before we get back. I'm gonna go get something from the um the vending machine before we get back out there. Do you want anything? No. I'll get you something anyway. And so in the third basement they go down and the guy looks around and he's like Oh, okay. So I see this here and this here and this here. Now, which one of them's the replicant? And the guy on the left goes, "Well, isn't it obvious? The guy wearing the pants." You get it? Because he's, he's, because the pants. Because in the earlier part of it, were there's pants. You know, I thought I thought it was funny. That was one of those jokes that 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 hit me. That hit me. I love your jokes. I'm sorry, I was just, I was miles away. I apologize. Sorry. No, no, don't, no sorry. I'm, I'm, I'm shaking, I'm really shaking. I feel like my, uh, my heart's gonna leap out of my chest ever since we talked with the captain. Yeah. So you want to tackle that, that, uh, what was it? Not the rat's nest. <laughs> what was the name of that place? Oh, Snake Pit. Snake Pit, there you go. Shh. Do you think we're going to handle that tonight or are we saving that for another day? You know, I'm um, pretty ready to do it now. I mean, I got my coffee, really been thinking about some stuff, you know, stuff that doesn't doesn't seem to add up. But things that I would like to add up, things I'm trying to calculate, you know, every, every single moment, I feel like it's just another piece of that puzzle. Yeah. Well, let's say you and I meet those guys there a little bit later. In the meantime, we get that, that flashlight device and we go pay your tab and I go look at what might be there to see I'm what picking up what you're putting down all right I'll just you know have what? to remember to actually pay my tab this time <laughs> fair enough I might actually just want one for myself I've got I got some goodwill to spend down there at the requisitions office so want to come with me down there Maybe get sure. you a new gun or something. <laughs> new gun might be nice, actually. This one, eh, she's got a couple scratches. Not too bad, but could use more power. You know, that was pretty cool what you did at the office. What's that? I'm stuck up for Galen. I don't think he's. <laughs> I don't think he's the uh, easiest guy to get along with. But I think he's got good intentions. I appreciate that you did that. I don't think I would have. Well, partners mean something to me. You know that. Mm. Well, and I make my way uh, with. Uh, um, fucking Selma, Jesus. Sorry, I blanked. Uh, make my way with Selma down to the, uh, uh, not the quartermaster, that's what you call him in, in olden times. <laughs> the guy who gives us vests and guns and shit. <laughs> there you go. <laughs> I like quartermaster, we'll actually. Yeah. And I'll use, uh, 
well, however many points. I don't know. Oh, oh I could look, look it up. How many points it costs to to get one of them laser readers? a watch just something that you look at it tells the time <laughs> you don't want like a Q watch like someone with a garrote wire or anything like that in it a purple knockout gas I mean just something that to put on to put on my wrist something comfortable about it Mm-hmm. There's there's something telling me that I'm I'm gonna wanna watch and I don't know why. I just I just wanna watch. Mm. Trying to find like I, I tried to look at oh here we go. Okay, I got it. I got it, I got it, I got it. Sorry, go ahead. Just, just intuition, just intuition. I, I just, I just want to watch. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Absolutely. So, Thank you. So, uh, if we got one of these laser reader things for mm -hmm. serial numbers and whatnot. I don't think it's think you'll listed miss there. It. Yeah. No, no, I'm talking to oh, someone. Oh, sorry, 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 sorry. No, it's all, it's, all, it's all good. You think, uh... You're gonna miss giving the Voight conf since we won't have to do that anymore? I mean, not yet, but... I'm sure in the future we won't have to do that no more. Yeah. Yeah, I will. You seem like the type that would enjoy that. I do. I was really good at it, but I never liked it. Really? Why not? I can see the sides of everything. You know? I'm cursed with fucking empathy. Mm. So, you ask me those questions, I can see why someone would say whatever they say. And, uh, it seems unfair. Yeah, but I don't think these replicants are programmed to fear. Have you ever seen a rep can't show fear? Not authentic fear. What's authentic? I guess that's a good question. Mm -hmm. Well, aside from getting a, a rocket launcher or something, I don't know if there's anything else I really need. I like my revolver. Yeah. No, I, I Maybe suppose Maybe a I'm... nice uh, endoscope rifle. You know, hmm. sniper rifle. Get you up on the, on the rooftops, popping shots. Hmm. <laughs> you know, I've never been uh, never been one to be too good with a firearm, but I don't know. What I have here, I think, is doing me. Doing me all right. Hmm. All right. Yeah, just the, uh, just the scanner, please. Okay, here you go. Are you sure you two don't Sign need out. anything else? Good luck. You got any, uh, what's, is there a soup dish here? Uh, do you have armored vests? I think they would probably recommend you get some armored vests. I think we have the the standard issue. You have a uh, shirt, I, I read, think. Uh, police shirt is what it's yeah. called. Yeah, mm -hmm. but they do, as far as I know, they do have armored vests as well. That will help you not die instantly if a replicant punches you in the face. 
Okay. Okay. In the face? It's well, a vest for my yeah, face? Yeah, it's a vest for your face. I just mean mechanically, it'll help you. <laughs> I know, okay. <laughs> Police heavy-duty street gear. It's on That's 184. It. Um, I don't think technically it would be heavy-duty street gear, because I imagine that is like riot gear, um, but it's somewhere mm-hmm. in between there. We might have to make a, a something specific. But yeah, basically, you guys got a lot of points. You can get whatever you like. You said 184? Mm-hmm. Okay. Okay. Let's see. Oh, shit. Okay. I was looking here, but I, I was looking at all the pictures, but some of them don't have pictures, so I didn't look at all the rest of that stuff. Um, let's see. Well, it's the police shirt gives you a C armor, and the heavy duty gives you a B, so there's no, like, in between there. Okay, I just meant in between price. So we'll give you, um, we'll give you a B, uh... But it's going to be like, just for people listening, it'll be a vest, something that you can hide under and you can choose to put it on or not. So if you're going into Electric Dreams and you don't want it to look like you're, you've got something on, then, you know, just uh, yeah. you have to let me know when you're putting it on. It's the only thing. Otherwise, okay. I'm going to assume you don't have it on, but you took it with you. Okay. okay. All right. So I'm going to go back to the full group here as you guys head up um, from requisition. Yep. You get everything you need. Yeah. Yep. Uh, we're gonna uh, take off a little early. We're gonna go head over to Electric Dreams Pair Tab, mm-hmm. and then uh, we'll meet you over at the Snake Pit. All right. Come. Um, we're partners. I thought we were supposed to travel together. Oh, I just thought I mean, it was I'd- boring. One, one. Yeah. It doesn't matter. All right. Oh, that's right. You don't even have a ride. Hop in then. I did mention wanting to stick together as a squad too, so thanks probably for the best. Yeah. All right. Well, so let's head out then. All right. How about this tab. Trying to figure out which drink is the drink for you, Selma. Hmm. What would you suggest? 